The SafeCare spine board was developed to transfer a patient from the ground to a rigid surface with less movement than any other means thus far, and has been shown to be the most effective device for transferring large patients, football players, and other athletes wearing protective equipment or other gear, in addition to the safe handling of those suspected of a spinal injury. The inner honeycomb design and thin outer skin are both made of lightweight stain-resistant aluminum, creating the strength and resilience to provide a weight-bearing carrying capacity that exceeds 700 pounds. The SafeCare spine board has two belts moving in counter-rotating directions, facilitating a smooth, almost motionless loading and unloading of the patient. In an effort to achieve spinal immobilization during on-the-field management of an injury, rescuers typically transfer and secure patients to a conventional spine board. The task of moving patients onto a spine board can prove challenging because the head and trunk must be moved together as a unit. The SafeCare spine board is as effective a transfer method, if not more so, than the scoop stretcher and six plus person lift for limiting movement of the cervical spine. Using this device to transfer a patient wearing protective athletic equipment can be accomplished with as little movement as transferring a patient with no football equipment while wearing a rigid cervical collar. This particular device is longer and large enough to hold a player with athletic equipment. Placing an injured individual with a spine injury on a spine board is an important skill in emergency medicine. Minimizing or eliminating movement created at the head or spine during the management of a cervical spine injury is paramount because the movement can exacerbate the patient's injury. The size of this SafeCare spine board is smaller and will fit into an ambulance and hold the weight of any victim. The SafeCare spine board reduces the need to subject the patient to multiple transfers. Traditional methods can involve one transfer onto a long backboard and then one transfer off of a long backboard or scooping, rolling, or lifting the patient before they can be placed on a spine board. The SafeCare spine board also has the same advantages while offloading the patient, which none of the traditional techniques can provide. The most movement when performing a spine boarding procedure occurs in flexion and extension, which is attributed to the sheer mechanics of the patient transfer. It is obvious that the SafeCare spine board does an outstanding job of limiting lateral flexion and axial rotation compared to the other methods of patient transfer, and is far more effective than the scoop stretcher and the six plus person lift for limiting movement of the cervical spine. The SafeCare spine board is easy to clean with water and minimal wiping. Please visit us to learn more. A new way to backboard someone has the potential to revolutionize the way we remove patients. News 25's Katarina Lukatic tells us about an invention originating here in Gulfport that is starting to get national attention. Feet up, let it creep right underneath it once it starts. We're done. The in motion spine board is an automated device that slides under a patient and lifts that person onto the board without ever having to move them. I thought it was going to be kind of a bumpy ride, but it was relatively smooth and um I didn't even know I was completely on the board until that, after I heard it stop. Now News 25 heard some good feedback from members of the fire department here, so I decided to get down and try it for myself. You'll normally have the patient in a, in a, uh, with a cervical collar uh -huh. and maintain stabilization of the head. At that point, the board just slowly creeps up underneath you. Just like Holloman said, you really don't feel much of anything at all, making for a smooth transition with barely any movement. That locks it in. One of these boards costs about $16,000. Money the Gulfport Fire Department sees as a great investment, especially when it comes to safety. I don't think we have any really concerns with it other than the cost of the, the unit itself. I think it would be very valuable to the fire department. In Gulfport, Katarina Lukatic, News 25.